guardsmen will get their supplies now. What is your situation? We're gathering our wounded and are heading to the Andrews habitation block to establish an outpost. We'll be carrying down our support craft from land there. Very well. My battle brothers and I must secure any operational warlord class titans before the orcs can loot them. Good luck. I can't remember if this level is actually in the beta of this or yeah, demo of this game. Ooh. Targets! I mean green skins! Green skins. Yeah. English. Now, personally, I'm a... Fuck you! Ah, no, 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 You started this fight. You can finish it. No one escapes the Emperor's judgment. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Grenades. Uh, those are always good. Uh, what weapons do I even have? Okay. Stock revolter. Always good. Funny enough, the Stalker Bolts are favored by the Raven Guard, mostly. And their successor chapters. Well, it could be said that the Ultramarines here are the most adept and versatile of the Astartes. Let's face it, the Luna Wolves still, in my opinion, get that title. Later known as the Sons of Horus, although granted they're a traitor legion. So there's that. Okay. <sighs> All right. Do, 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 do. Ammo, ammo. Whoops. Well, that's the grenade button. <laughs> well, come in handy. That thing is a battering ram. Okay. Snipe. 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 Oh, you thought I didn't know how to use this. Wrong. What do I look like, a towel? I may be blue, but I definitely am not a towel. And, oh shit, is that a... Is that what I think it is? Shit! Squig! <laughs> okay. This is the one where I like the freaking shotgun. <laughs> uh, eat shit and die. Whoops! Whoopsie! And you're dead. Ah, shit. Yeah. Squigs, because every fucking universe has to have suicide weapons. Ah, 
How about this? Yeah, that seems to work. Eat it. <laughs> Mortal Kombat, eat your heart out! <laughs> I don't see fucking chainswords in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> if you ever need proof as to why, yeah, if you ever need proof as to why. Warhammer is better than Star Wars and a lot of other fandoms. That is why. Because holy shit, that was violent. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, shut up. Okay. years since I played this game. <laughs> also, to what is a space marine? Oh shit! God damn it! Okay, so to what is the space marine? Well, imagine this. Imagine. A 12, 10, ah, 10 to 14 year old boy. And you know, you, you're at the age where you believe in fantasies and that you are just invincible and you know everything. Now to stop this way. Now imagine a religious zealot order tells you, yes, you are invincible. But only through serving a divine deity will you go to heaven. Or, you know, Warhammer's equivalent of serving at the Emperor's side. Granted, the. <laughs> but that's the debate for another time. My whole thing is, or I should say, Warhammer's whole thing is, at which point, you are taken, said, said previous child is taken, has several surgeries over span of years, oh shit, okay, maybe a few bolter shells to the face will make you a little bit more compliant.
anyway, as I was saying, Space Marines are basically what happens when you abduct previous and children, do tons of surgery on them, and indoctrinate them into a religious cult, and turn them into the angriest, most bloodthirsty, fanatical killing machines <laughs> ever created. Then you give them super armor and weapons and tell, and tell them that you must kill in the name of... Insert random god here. In this case, the god emperor of mankind. These trains have point defense turrets. There'll be a heavy weapon ahead. Forward Credit where credit's due, the god emperor of mankind in this game, or say universe, actually exists. Even if the Biggie himself wasn't fond on being called a god, though the Ecclesiarchy fails to mention this part for obvious reasons. <coughs> Aww. You trying to shoot me? Here. Ooh! Ow! Yeah, that's basically what a space marine is. Someone with pretty much almost the mind of a 14-year-old. Well, maybe not the mind of a 14-year-old, but... Is about as equally... How should I say? Impressionable? Let's see. Tear off. Fuck. Okay, gotta run. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay. something about orc tech, shouldn't I? You see this piece of junk? There's no fucking reason this thing should fly. But, due to raw energy, it does. Raw energy basically is... Ooh! You got that one right in the face. Basically, what law energy is, is belief. That's literally what it is. See, orcs, interestingly enough, are actually creations literally designed for war, but biological ones. Yes, I know. Biological weapons. How in the hell could that ever be? Possibly go wrong. Ugh. Anyway. Nothing that these guys actually build, build will actually work if used by anyone else.
Leandros, can you, like, not be in the way? Manufacturum still holds. Some Imperial Guard units made it here after all. They cannot hold for long. We must hurry. What do we got here? Okay. Hmm? Okay, what do we have here? Alright, that's floating. Yeah. Trying to deliver a message. Skulls are basically... <clears throat> they are human brains, basically. Typically of... What's that? Usually of scribes of the Adeptus Ministorum. Basically, their brains are turned into servo skulls upon their death. 
and they continue to serve the Imperium. So, yeah. <laughs> Grimdark? Well, <laughs> the uh, Warhammer 40k universe is pretty much as grimdark as they get. We must disable that crane. Hello. I just shot you in the ass. <laughs> ah, shut up. You're not gonna kill shit. <laughs> yes, I did just chainsaw him through the face. <laughs> Space Marine, as you can see. However, when it comes to um, hordes of them, yeah, then it becomes a problem. And orcs are definitely a horde type enemy. They pretty much just throw themselves at their opponents in waves. Now, one interesting thing about orcs is that they fight not really to conquer, well, the war bosses, maybe, but most of them fight mainly just because they love to fight. They're pretty much the drunken asshole of Warhammer 40k. Okay, they just love to pick fights with everybody, even each other. And, actually, that's pretty much <clears throat> how an orc wah actually gets started. Which, an orc wah is basically just lots and lots and lots of orcs all trying out. Oh, shut up! I'm trying to explain something here. Hey, it's a face only a mother club. Anyway... An orc war is typically led by what is known as a war boss. Orc war boss. And orc war boss is basically the orc that has managed to beat the living fuck out of everyone else. 
on his given planet. of the Ultramarines. Identify yourself. This is Corporal Antioch, sir. Uh, that is, my lord. I need access to the Manufactorum, Corporal. There is a service lift from the hangar directly below where you dropped the cargo, my lord. We can meet you there. Stand ready. We will be there shortly. Tight us up. <sighs> so, yeah. Orcs. Also, orcs are all tend to be the hold my beer race <laughs> in for, Warhammer 40k because they will do things that are damn that are basically damn near suicidal to get at their enemies. And the lunatic part about it is sometimes they'll actually succeed. Uh, shit, 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 ow! No, 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 no! Okay. Don't get me wrong. Space Marines are crazy motherfuckers, and you do not... <laughs> you do not want to get on there. Oh, shit, whoa. What was that? Okay, that was another squake. In any case, there. But there's limits to what a space marine will do. Okay, even some of the more batshit insane chapters to do what to find space marines that'll actually do what orcs will do. You have to pretty much go to chaos to find those space. Marines. Ah, uh, these are just crutches. Smack! 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 <laughs> like, these guys are just basically XP pinatas. <laughs> As are you! Oh shit. Okay, that obviously was not the smartest idea I ever had. Ah, eh, shut up. Up. See, literal punching bags, just like the average human. In fact, that's exactly what the average human is to a space marine. A literal one-shot punching bag. Face. 
That was funny. He was just like, Wee! <laughs> To the face. Hello. Uh, and to your... Uh, let's see. Come on. Come on. Okay. And your groin. <laughs> there you go, third eye. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you aim better. No, wait, you're dead. Never mind. I take that back. Now, after plowing through all those guys like they were nothing, do try and tell me how a stormtrooper would ever stand a chance against one of these. Hell, a whole fucking ship of stormtroopers. Actually, I'll illustrate that right now. I will literally just illustrate that right now. Ooh, power weapons. Uh, power axe. Ah. Let's see, a little bit of ammo. Allow me to demonstrate exactly why Stormtroopers would have absolutely no fucking chance against this guy. If only you had mothers to cry for. Thank you. 
Beep beep. Pain train coming through. Corporal <laughs> Antioch? Yes, my lord. Now, tell me, how many star troopers do you think can actually do that? One Space Marine, well, technically three, but I did most of the heavy lifting, did all of that. <laughs> ah, the Astra Militarum, Imperial Guard. Contact Lieutenant Mira. Her unit is establishing a bastion in Hanap Senders, and your support craft now have a viable approach from orbit. What of the Colonel and the staff? They need not survive. The Imperial Guard are basically the stormtroopers of Here we are, my lord. My thanks. Oi, keep that muzzle clean, guys. Uh, well, 40k, pretty much. Of course, the difference being these guys can actually hit something. So yeah. All of that. <laughs> no, nothing will convince orcs to back away unless you kill their war boss. That's one thing you have to remember about orcs. The orcs, despite what the space marines are actually capable of, the orcs fear what the war boss will do to them if they run more than they fear what the space marines will do to them if they attack. Let's just say they quite liter let's just say orcs quite literally eat their own. Titan Invictus seems undamaged at least. Titan Invictus seems unused. That glorious piece of death <laughs> is a Titan. More specifically, that is a Warlord class Titan. The second most powerful variant of the Titans. Being outclassed only by the Imperator class Titan. This one looks like it's armed with a couple of Volcano Cannons and Plasma Annihilator Cannons. Double Barrel. Odd. I don't know, this thing doesn't look like it's fully armed, is what I'm saying. But, hey, it's still probably in the process of being built. Now, funny thing about Titans is these things quite literally take hundreds of years to construct. They are that massive. Well, that, and the fact that the Adeptus Mechanicus tends to revere them as god machines. Only the finest materials can ever be used in their construction. And there are rituals upon rituals upon rituals for every single stage of construction. Even loosening a bolt to a maintenance hatch has its own little prayer. So you can imagine that half the time spent building one of these things is singing hymns, 
praying and wafting it with smoke and the and those dabbing it lightly with oil with those little thingy bobs just uh, yeah but the end result is undeniably worth the time and effort Considering one of these can pretty much rampage across an entire battlefield and level cities in within hours, if not minutes. Captain, this is an order station. I can scan for the Inquisitor's life signs. Accident or crime? There, a lone human. Identity confirmed. And yes, that is a human brain inside that thing. Is in this wing of the manufacturer. I mean, the throughout the city, a large number of the Now you're probably wondering, does, is there like just a thing with mutilating humans in this universe? Well, there. Yeah, there's sort of a fetish for that sort of thing. Yes, there is sort of a fetish for that sort of thing, but there's also a good reason for it. The reason why humans are typically turned into things like this is because AI, <clears throat> any form of it, is strictly illegal and is considered techno-heresy. Yes, that's a word. But in any case, or compound word, I suppose, in this case. <sighs> See, long time ago, when the Imperium of Man was actually, well, actually, it wasn't Imperium of Man back then. It was just mankind in general. When they were much more, like, do you, are you rotating with... Yes, you're actually rotating with the platform. Okay. Anyway. Sorry, I just have ADHD, so... Don't mind me if I get sidetracked sometimes. Yeah. Um... There was an age where, obviously, much like now, AI was a thing. And very widespread, especially when it came to war machines. You know, like think Terminator on the scale of the Galactic Empire, basically. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Are you receiving? Captain. And machines the size of Yeager. Squad Solid, this is on the ground at making for our objective. New orders, Midas. We are at Manufactorum Ajakis and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solinus to come secure the Invictus while I divert to a priority alarm. On our way, Captain. I just act. Anyway, of course, referencing Terminator when it comes to AI in this universe is actually pretty apt, since the AI ended up turning on the human, their human creators. What the fuck? Shut up! I am explaining history here. You mind? Ugh, so rude. Anyway, and yeah, <laughs> so the Emperor of Mankind, when he came to unify the human race after the human race's fall, thanks to, well, numerous events, which I won't really delve into too deeply here. Well, I 
Oh, I might. I just might do that. But the long story short, AI turn AI went Skynet on the human race, and there was a war against the machines. Much like the actual Terminator War, <laughs> the war was very costly, and rebuilding humanity basically. Ugh. It was painful. Long and painful. At that point, it was like, well, let's not do that again. Let's not use AI ever again. Actually, it's got a different name. Abominable Intelligence. Repeat authorization. Repeat authorization. Repeat authorization. Repeat Stress call. As you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I'm soldier and scientist, though, Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? The power source is running the entire manufacturum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source for the weapon. It is a complex device and an unstable one. If the orcs find it, they'll try to uh, yes. <coughs> The order of Xenos. To put it bluntly, the Inquisition is divided into various major orders. Three major ones are the Order of Malleus, the Order of Hereticus, and the Order of Xenos. Sorry, Ordo. Ordo Hereticus, Order of Malleus, and Order of Xenos. Order of Xenos deals with external threats, mostly anyway. Aliens, typically. Okay, now that is a war boss, that big guy behind them. More specifically, Boss Grinskull. I'd love to see you try, bitch. Given the caliber of the guys you're sending after me, you'll forget my skepticism. <laughs> or say you'll have to. Fuck every last one of you. Yeah, I'm not even bothering with... My bolter. Train coming through. <laughs> okay, okay, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Ah, shit. Hey, where did that war boss go? All right. Well, he ran like a little bitch. Not one single fuck is given about your. <laughs> yeah, that's literally it. Not a single fuck was given that day. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Are there any Charles spells back here? Well, there is ammo, but as you can clearly see, I'm not a big. Uh, Despite my uh, advocation for personal firearms, I'm not very big on them in this game. <laughs> Unless I need them, of course. The orc has a scent for us now. Damnable creature. Had he not blundered onto this world, but he did. Ooh, what do we have here? Asthma pistol. You're probably wondering why Space Marines are painted so so ostentatiously. Well, <laughs> let's face it. These guys are shock troops. If you can't already tell. They're jo Oh, shit. That is actually a weird boy. Basically, their version of a shaman. Eh, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Ding! 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 <laughs> yes, I just beat you to death with your own shield. <laughs> because I give that little of a fuck. Turn to sender. <laughs> oh. I even got a trophy for that. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Yeah, basically they're col the colors that these guys are painted are to say, I'm right here, motherfucker, come at me. <laughs> the whole generator room is actually suspended above a venting shaft. Suspended, yes. In case of catastrophic overload, the whole room can be shunted away into the depths. Yeah. 
shields open, Captain. And into the central chamber. to you. Come down here and I will kick your bitch ass. Here. This door is ajar. And now it's the cap. <laughs> Precious power source. We sent a rendezvous in Habsen to Andrus. These tunnels will spit us out there eventually. Fine. Continue heading toward the Hab Center. 